Welcome back to Armadillo. Um, off camera, which was, this, there's only been like a 20 second span between the episodes. Off camera, uh, I started riding away and I said, well, why don't I just fast travel? So that's what I did. Uh, there isn't another West Dickens mission, at least not yet. Obviously, there's just a Seth mission and another Bonnie mission, so that was a mistake. Anyway, we're here in Armadillo now. The weather got better after I saved, and then it got shit again, I guess, after I fast-traveled. Also, while I was out, um, I looked at my inventory, and I still had the two maps for uh, whatever the two places were, I believe, uh, Chola Springs and Gap Tooth Ridge. And I was like, wait a minute, they're in the consumables category. So I used them, and now I have actually discovered all those locations, so to speak. So, might have bad for that, but, you know, huh, whatever. I'm going to stop by here and see if there's anything like a map to pick up or whatever. How are you, friend? My products are of the finest qualities. Of the finest qualities. Oh, the Kentucky Saddler deed. Ooh. Thing to do, wouldn't it? Cool. I might just save up for that. But then again, I do want to get the bandolier, so fuck it. Let's go grab that shit. And then we'll go right over for the Seth mission, I believe. Don't we? Yeah! I could have just opened a political can of worms, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to spare myself. That would be an extremely bad idea, I think. I think this episode we will accomplish a couple missions, and then we'll do a side track episode where we will do some side stuff like Strangers and Freaks and... Uh, wanted posters. Probably the latter first, because they're a bit more simple. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Come on, then, partner! 
Yeehaw! Master! How can you take that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrite! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rot. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, We'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. <laughs> Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy <laughs> man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deacon. All them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man. Things most other fellas want. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Mm. Close to taking down Bill, it seems. Slide! Slide! What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. Come on. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Uh, <laughs> uh, those guys totally... Okay, well, I just pressed A to skip the cutscene, so... <laughs> Didn't seem like it was going anywhere, to be fair. Y'all mind if I just steal this horse? Kind of like the way the uh, the law works in Red Dead Redemption. When you commit crimes, you accumulate a bounty. But if you want, you can just pay the bounty uh, at like a um, a post office and be like, "Yeah, sorry, here's twenty dollars to cover it." Good 
job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Just leave me alone! No, not quite. What's this got to do with you? Fuck it, grab a horse, go faster. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Dragged him along for a little bit of a ride. Why are you doing this? Seth lost his mind a long time ago. We'll just use this one. Ooh, double. Stay there. Sorry, Kentucky Saddler. Come on. Just name your price. Yeah. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy ah. in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide ah, man's flesh. Ain't ah, never cut into a live ah, one before. Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Best we deal with this now, <laughs> mister. That's right. You can also get a pardon letter every now and again. Yeah. And that will just clear you of anything. I don't know if there's a unlimited amount in the game though. I think you only get like a certain I amount. What? Here, I've been given a pardon. Master, I hope you stay out of trouble now. <laughs> so, Mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Yeah! Another one down. Right, let's skedaddle on over here. Ooh, you know what? Yeah. Let's not <clears throat> travel by horse. See, I want me to use the fucking stagecoach, obviously. But, huh, my money's precious in the early game, okay? <laughs> I think we're maybe barely like a quarter through Whoa. I don't know but I'll probably look it up at some point just to track it for my own curiosity
Is my dog going to come bug me? It was funny. I, I didn't remember that that time he interrupted in the middle of uh, one of my episodes. <laughs> I'll be back during this cutscene. Sorry if it takes a little extra. the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. And it's like I was never gone. <laughs> Might have missed the cutscene, but I'll just watch the Let's replay. Go. him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling yeah. about this. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those One thing I appreciate in Red Dead Redemption is uh, you can just hold the A button on Xbox or no X on PlayStation to follow somebody to that you're supposed to follow. And if you hold it, it just keeps your speed up next to them and your like horse stamina bar on the left there of the minimap turns green. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Yeah! Yeah! Curious of a jump. Get a move on! Come on. Oh, are we seriously sidling over? Oh, we got to <laughs> Wrong button. We got the door open. <coughs> Come on, 
Come on, Vani. I was wondering what I would need to do. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, ho hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Hello. Yet the question remains. What about the wagon? See you next time.